some uh, grounded Megan because she would have learned something here. It was wonderful having the, the mother-daughter duet at Queens College on Sunday. And now we're going to have another mother-daughter duet. Uh, and this is from uh, an opera that uh, I wrote back in 1980 with uh, Aurel uh, Dino Popescu. A feminist anti-war Hanukkah opera. I wrote about it uh, and sent the, an article to a mystery magazine. A, a mystery magazine. They wrote me back. This isn't exactly mainstream, is it? And then I sent that article to Morris Schaffes, and he said, "This is exactly the kind of thing that we want to publish." And from 1981 on, I wrote for Jewish Currents. I've written about a dozen articles, um, and this was the very first one. This is 1981. This opera is about Hannah, the daughter of Mattathias, the sister of the Maccabees who is forced on her wedding night to sleep with the local overlord and takes off all her clothes at her wedding night to, uh, to, uh, on her wedding day to protest this, and this, result, this uh, results in the Maccabean Revolt, which is, of course, the Hanukkah story. This is a, a very feminist to take on, on, on the, the Hanukkah story. And uh, we're going to do one short excerpt from it. Uh, Hannah, Hannah has just been told, Hannah is going to be sung, by the way, by Susan Blake, who is the... Uh, the director or the facilitator coordinator of P. Smith's uh, Coffee House out in Amityville and has come in all the way to do this with us. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she will be singing the title role in this, and Hannah. Um, Hannah's just been told uh, by her father that she's going to have to go through with the, all, all of the ceremony, and her mother is, uh, tells her a, a parable, a story to try to make her feel better about it, uh, but Hannah's having not the, none of it, and so she turns the parable on its head, so to speak. 